How's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're not looking at the vet. We're looking at the Jeep. Everyone's been asking me, dude, how is the Hemi project? It's been a year. You haven't given us any updates really. I mean, I've shown you a couple of the errors that have come up, but why don't we go ahead and give you a cold start? I guess the best thing we should do is just take you out for a rip. Make sure we back out nice and safely here. We're gonna be going downhill, so it's not gonna be too fun at first, but once we get somewhere, we'll let her open up. So, another fun thing about the Jeep Hemi project. The Jeep has Tiptronic, as a lot of people know. And while, as much as I love Tiptronic for when you're going up and down hills, it just allows you to have a little bit of control, especially when it's not wanting to shift gears with the Nag 1 that's very prominent. Everyone that has to deal with this transmission knows that it's always searching for gears, even after a tune, it's just brutal. So, what do we do to contradict that or counterplay it or whatever you wanna say about it, is you'd have to get the eight speed conversion, which if I blow this transmission up, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, I wish I would have done it kind of when I did this. I chose not to because I wanted to not just cram everything into one video. I wanted to try the six speed and yeah, the six speed just, just does just fine. There we go, let's get that out there. But that being said, when you feel the smoothness of an eight speed, it's really hard not to just do the conversion. Now, that being said, even then, we'll give you a little prop here. If you've been following the build, one of the things I did is I shoved in the SRT torque converter. I really kind of wish I wouldn't have. The one reason why is because, well, for example, I was going ahead and driving along and got up there in speed and this thing shifted one more time at 140 kilometers an hour. That's way too tall for this build. I mean, I will never ever really be driving that with a two door Jeep because let's face it, if you need to take a emergency turn or anything, you're gonna roll it. It's as simple as that. So really, if you're thinking, should I get a different torque converter than the stock 3.6? No, no, you shouldn't just stick with it. This is a really nice road. Just nice and farmlands. Just come around the corners. It's a little windy for a lot of fun reasons. I used to test the GTI out on this, and of course I've done some testing with the uh, vet on this road. Just gotta make sure it's got all the potholes filled because they come out of nowhere here. But even then, with the Jeep, because these corners aren't too bad, you can still and still get your pep on. Oh man, there's nothing like smiles per gallon because if you're looking for miles per gallon, this is not the build for you. But other than that, the thing has been just holding up well. The only thing was is uh, my makeshift power steering bottle. It's been all right. I'm probably gonna end up swapping it out. I've ended up having a few little issues with it, but uh, it seeps now and then. It's not that it's leaking, it's just seeping. So I'll probably replace that. But let's go ahead and show you one more time this nice little V8 for Humble. This looks like a nice spot, better than any. I'll put the camera down, take a rip down the block, and then you can hear the launch from the outside of the vehicle. It already sounds so good from out here, eh? We've also got some pipeline stuff going on over there, so it's gonna be a little noisy, but let's go ahead.
another question you guys keep asking me. Do you wish you would have gone with the 6.4 rather than the 5.7? The answer is no. I actually really, really love this 5.7. And the fact I shoved the 6.4 internals, well, I get to keep some of that fun from the 6.4. I mean, this thing is literally 350 horse to the wheels. That's what it dynoed at, so. I have no complaints with the power amount and what you get for this price. Let's show you how obnoxious this thing is going up hills. So this is the part where I wish I would have kept the factory ram bottle and not done this bracket because this part down here seeps now and then. But it's not bad enough for it to be considered a leak. The other thing you could do, which I didn't do, is you could put a Holly Sniper on here. I didn't bother because I actually really like the look of the Hemi intake manifold and there was no point. I actually got this one too. It's port and polished and all that other fun stuff. Got that from a guy for 80 bucks can't complain I should have probably painted that but that's okay I like a little bit of rust it adds character right intake sounds great everything else has been operating great holding the coolant and she still just barely fits in here and what can I say it turns heads everywhere it goes everyone keeps asking me well rich what's next and well I think that's kind of obvious we're gonna have to build these axles up so after I'm done the VET project, it'll be time to start putting together a plan for these axles. But as for engine mods and stuff, nothing. This thing just runs like a dream. Why mess with it? I'm so happy with how it turned out. Well, other than that, that pretty much wraps us up. We've gone over everything. Um, the Tiptronic, like I said, is the only thing with the NAG 1 there that I would suggest to be a little bit watching over is it seems to play a little bit of fun with the gears so be careful with that so i'd probably and will go to an eight speed once the neg one goes because eventually it will it's unfortunate thing with the neg one and other than that too power steering bottle we covered that everything else has been great i i wouldn't go back so if you're wondering is there anything you would have changed with this project i just listed it it's a great build, I highly suggest it, and the Jeep was built for a V8, I must say. Thanks again for watching, press a like if it helped you out, and subscribe for more, and there's always going to be more stuff on that, and of course, I just got to finish this.